the Kanara lucky spin event is back in call of dragons and today we're going to be spinning this wheel what's going on guys cheers now for those of you that don't know the lucky spin event is essentially a wheel of fortune that comes around every once in a while here in call of dragons and the hero that is featured on this wheel typically changes periodically however it seems to be the case that the first and second wheel at least are going to be of Kanara for all of the new servers which is exciting I was hoping that that would be the case because I do feel like Kanara is one of the strongest heroes in Call of Dragons right now if you guys missed it I actually made a video a couple of weeks ago where I talk about the top 10 best heroes in Call of Dragons so if you missed that video go ahead and check it out on the channel it'll probably be linked in the description below but spoiler alert Kanara made it towards the top of that list and I came to that conclusion after the wheel had already passed but the wheel is back today so we're going to be spinning this wheel and I want to go over a couple of functions a couple of features of this wheel for you guys because if you've played Rise of Kingdoms this may seem familiar to you but in fact this is actually from what I can tell a better wheel than what we see in rise of kingdoms for a couple of different reasons first of all you'll notice that there are only two types of speed ups here on this wheel there are universal speed ups and there are training speed ups that means there's no research speed ups there's no building speed ups so this wheel is going to age very well once you reach the late game you're still going to have use for both of these types of speed ups which is exceptionally good the second thing that you'll notice is that we have a few types of legendary tokens here on the board we have obviously the Kanara token and we have a a universal season one custom token which can be redeemed for any of the season one legendary heroes which at the time of recording this is any legendary that's in the game including Kanara so keep that in mind but finally we have Kanara herself yes this is a full summon of Kanara which is much better than eight tokens or eight sculptures like we would expect from rise of kingdoms so that's really nice and finally there is actually a built-in Hitty system for this wheel that also carries over between different wheels and if you take a look here on the right side of the screen you can see 27 out of 50 which means the last time this wheel was around I spun it 27 times and that was just the number of times I needed to literally summon Kanara that was when I got her but you can see here that a premium reward is guaranteed after every 50 spins and that premium reward is 10 tokens of Kanara or a full summon of her if you don't actually have her so you are literally guaranteed to get Kanara if you spin this wheel 50 times which is super exciting and so I'm excited to spin but there's a couple of other things I want to go over first of all there was some confusion as to how you actually obtain tickets for this event some players thought that you had to buy the bundle here which is called change of fortune some players thought you had to buy this bundle in order to spin the wheel which is just not the case if you come here into lucky spin you can click this plus and you can actually just straight up get these vouchers for gems themselves which is really nice now you can only buy a maximum of 100 vouchers and I know you're probably thinking like what do you mean only like that's that's actually kind of a lot and it's also really nice because this is the maximum number of spins that you need in order to get the most amount of the spin rewards so if you didn't know if you're not familiar with this type of event like from rise of kingdoms for example there are spin milestones so if you spin the wheel 10 times you're guaranteed five Kanara tokens and some resource chest if you spin it 25 times you get five universal season one tokens which is really nice that's better than Kanara if you spin 45 times you get 10 of her and some resources if you spin it 70 times you get 10 universal season one tokens plus a bunch of speed ups here as well and then finally if you spin this wheel 100 times which is the maximum number of tickets that you can buy you're going to get 15 Kanara tokens and 15 resource chests so overall this is very similar to the rise of kingdoms wheel with just a couple of improvements some better rewards here on the wheel and a pity system built in every 50 spins is very very nice and we can also compare the rest of the chances of getting different things on the wheel so a full summon of kanara is two and a half percent but you are guaranteed that after 50. there's a 25 percent chance for any spin that you're going to get kanara herself there's also an eight percent chance that you're going to get the universal season one custom token so overall this is very familiar to rise 
rise of kingdoms wheel but actually better so i'm excited to spin this wheel today i guess the first thing we should do is buy a couple of these bundles now i'm not going to max purchase this bundle because i have spent a significant amount here in call of dragons so i don't want to go too overboard but i will be buying a couple of these bundles now it is worth noting if you guys are spending money in call of dragons and really any mobile game just be aware of what you're actually buying this is literally gambling this is literally buying a bundle for a chance to get things that you might actually want and there's no upwards limit as to how much you can spend in a game like call of dragon so please only spend in a mobile game if you really have the disposable income to do so because you might spend five dollars here ten dollars here and slowly over time that adds up to a lot of money at the end of a week or at the end of a month i recommend putting your money towards stocks towards a retirement fund towards i don't know it's probably better to treat your family and friends out to a nice dinner than it is to spend a hundred dollars here in call of dragon so just wanted to remind you that you know the on the priority list of spending mobile games are, should be pretty low on your on your spending tier list okay if we're taking a look at this bundle though the first five dollar bundle gave me five vouchers the ten dollar bundle looks like it gives me ten vouchers I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one as well and now here we see that the twenty dollar bundle actually only gives you 15 of the actual vouchers here so you're also getting other things obviously keep in mind you're getting gold keys you're getting honor you're getting gems so this is obviously a uh, you know pretty good value but when you compare the $20 bundle to the previous two bundles, if you really care mostly about the vouchers, this is where you really start to fall off in terms of value. So I'm actually not going to buy the $20 bundle. If you're a whale, obviously you probably want to max out this bundle purchase. So just keep that in mind. And just like that, we have 15 of these vouchers and we also gain a free spin every single day. Now, this is one of the things that is actually different about rise of kingdoms and this lucky spin event here in call of dragons is that in rise of kingdoms, you just straight up use gems and here because we're using vouchers there is no half off option so that is unfortunate I wish they would give you a way to like buy a certain number of vouchers half off like maybe three vouchers for 50 percent off something like that I feel like that would be nice but like I said before this wheel is from what I can tell technically a better value wheel than the one in rise of kingdoms anyway so you kind of break even there let's go ahead and do our free spin we've been talking for too long let's just do that spin and dude that animation is epic and we got a bunch of training suit ups and arguably this is actually what I need the least probably on this entire wheel because I'm still trying to get to City Hall 25 and you really don't need to train troops to get there uh, I guess you could maybe make the argument that legendary medals I don't need that much either but everything else here I do need which is exciting because I am tired of spinning the wheel of rise of kingdoms and getting a bunch of garbage so today we are going all in let's do our first five spin of the video ladies and gentlemen what are we gonna get it from the wheel we get more training speed ups come on dude we don't need that this animation's a little bit too long we got more of the metals literally the two things that i said i needed the least and we got okay we got our first canara i'll take that what is going to be next here on the wheel we got a universal that's an eight percent chance that's actually very good i'll take it for sure we get mana okay so mana is you know it's the most valuable resource i'll take that here we got two legendary tokens for five of the vouchers not sure if i love that but it is what it is also i'm gonna skip the animation here because that animation is very long and if the developers are watching you should shorten that animation in between rewards probably by 50 percent. i would say it's too long and also like here i won't skip it this time but look uh, you can't really see what it's gonna land on in rise of kingdoms you sort of have an idea of what it might land on and that builds suspense here it's just a blur you really can't see until it's like about to land it's just a very fast wheel uh and so i, I think that this animation isn't as cool as the one in rise of kingdoms even if it is a little bit more epic i mean the whole wheel is shaking here boys like it's 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 nuts um we got a, a pretty bad spin here i would say two of the training speed ups we don't really need those right now obviously we will need them later so nothing in this video is completely useless uh but only one canara token from that five spin which is not what we needed let's skip the animation here for our next five spin. and what do we get we get boom 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 and all right so we got two canara tokens there that's actually uh pretty good a little bit of training speed ups uh it's unfortunate how many of those we are actually getting and you do see here we did reach the 10 spin reward which guarantees us five more canara tokens now uh if i do remember correctly and i did forget to show you this at the beginning of the video you can kind of go back and, and double check this i'm pretty sure i only had like three or four of her tokens when i started this so just keep that in mind and i think i had 18 custom tokens if i'm not mistaken that i don't know for sure i can't remember okay back to the wheel let's go ahead and purchase with gems now 
we do want to do the 100 spins uh we will get three free attempts we've already used one of them so if my math is correct i think i'm going to need 82 more vouchers in order to get to 100. so let's purchase 82 vouchers with our gems here boom there it is 57,400 gems that is such an incredibly high price to pay but i do think kanara is worth it and also the other rewards here are worth it as well so boom there it is we bought a ridiculous amount of, of those vouchers so let's go ahead and do another five spin here we get mana kanara kanara oh let's go we got the full summon baby let's go that's 10 tokens of kanara right there plus the other two that is 12 tokens okay the game is rewarding me heavily for spending my gems I'll take it. That is actually huge. My heart rate just went up. That was freaking sick. I'm glad that I'm home alone at my apartment because I am going to be making a lot of noise if we keep getting good spins like that. Here is another two token spin. Uh, a bunch of resources here, which I desperately need resources right now. I am pushing again to Hall 25, which gets very expensive. Let's claim our 25 spin reward, and boom, we get five custom tokens that is huge let's go ahead and keep our spinning going ladies and gentlemen we got Kanara three hour mana another Kanara another Kanara okay that's huge so that's three I would say if you get three tokens or more per five spin that is above average uh, I would say two is about average one is below average obviously zero is horrible this was a very good spin I'll take it obviously not as hype as that 10 Kanara pull which was huge but let's just keep it going here boom 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 oh I was hoping we would get that 10 summon right there we got uh, three more tokens and the universal ones obviously are better than Kanara tokens because you can use them on whoever you want I will probably be using them on Kanara because it's my opinion that you should go all in on one hero and get them awakened as it's called in this game uh and so season one tokens for me are basically Kanara tokens boom boom we got two right there can we get three can we get three oh we can't okay so we got I feel like we're getting a lot of season one custom tokens and these only have an eight percent drop rate so this is nice this is an average spin right here I don't love again the training speed ups kind of not what we're not not what we really need here but it, it is what it is go ahead and spin it five more times boom 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 Canaro we love that we got a season one token and we got more resources so here again average spin nothing too exciting didn't really need this stuff over here so I don't love that but let's keep it going here boom boom Kanara come on come on come on that was a below average spin that was trash we only get two medals per uh per reward here that's really interesting but the rest of this stuff is is really solid honestly all this is is good I need wood I need speed ups and those were universal so I can use them for building which is huge we did just pass the 45 spin reward so boom we get 10 more Kanara tokens I'm excited to see how many skills I can put on her at the end of this video and I'm starting now to realize that I should have max spun the previous Kanara wheel hindsight is always 2020 I really feel like uh, that was a, a miss I definitely missed an opportunity there but it is what it is uh we got Kanara we got Kanara we got nothing uh okay okay blah blah blah, blah. that's pretty much who cares right so there we go Kanara we got two Kanara tokens which is nice uh it does appear to be the case that uh, now I, I, don't, I actually don't know I wasn't paying attention it could be the case that the 10 Kanara summon that I got was that the premium reward was that my pity I don't remember oh let's go if it wasn't my pity it looks like the pity resets if you get Kanara so that is definitely interesting and unfortunate I would have liked the pity to stay despite getting lucky like you guaranteed get it every 50 regardless of if you got lucky that would be really nice I don't know if that's the case we're gonna see boom 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 and boom okay so we got literally zero that time we got a bunch of golden wood I, I don't really care too much about that uh we're at 41 out of 50 for our pity let's see if we can I really I got to go back in the footage now now I'm really concerned or confused really uh if that was my pity or not if I got hyped over a pity but this next five spin uh should guarantee get us a Kanara summon so let's see boom 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 there it is we got our guaranteed Kanara uh and I'll take that that is actually huge and this feels like way better value than the wheel from rise of kingdoms uh and boom it carries over that one uh, that we exceeded it by and we hit our 70 spin reward which does in fact get us 10 season one custom tokens which i love let's go ahead and close this menu and we'll do another five spin one two three canar come on dude come on uh, okay so we didn't get i really want to get the 10 i really want to get lucky and land on the 10 spot now just so i can see if it resets the pity before i go back and, and watch the video one two 
three okay we're getting a nice okay dude we're getting a nice chunk of canara tokens as they're called here uh in this game this is pretty good i'm feeling good about that let's go ahead and do another five spin one two okay that's huge that's huge that was huge that was a huge five spin ladies and gentlemen that was four tokens and some wood you know we're packing wood around here boys <laughs> all right we are coming in close to our final uh spins here and i do think that i'll probably i don't want to wait the next two days to do the last two spins i'll just do it on camera for you guys boom there's canara we love to see it we got stone we got another canara we got another metal uh, we don't really need those metals. I, I say that now it'll probably be kind of a bottleneck for me later. I imagine, but, uh, I mean, I guess maybe we'll use them. I don't know. Let's do another five spin. Canara. We got it. We got another one, baby. We got a universal. We got another one, baby. Oh, that was actually good. That was huge. That was huge. Another four Canara token spin. Uh, I mean, really this one is universal. As I said, that'll basically be Canara. Um, let's go ahead and let's do another five spin. So we'll do, we'll buy three more here. I'll do this just for the video boom 2100 more gems down the drain we're still sitting pretty with 87k or something like that so that's good and we'll do our final five spin of the video and we got one two three four ah okay so we got absolutely horrible spins there that was complete trash i mean at least we didn't get training speedos but that was that was bad so we got our uh reward here and boom i claim that now it's part of me is wondering and this might be how they get you to overspin right part of me is wondering if it's worth doing the final 19 spins uh, just to get that guaranteed 10. i think it probably is worth it um and i'm also wondering does this pity carry over to the next wheel if the next wheel is not Kanara. That's what I want to know. I really hope that it does because if it carries over between wheels of the same hero, but it doesn't carry over between he wheels of different heroes, that's going to make it really hard to keep track of. And I would be really disappointed, uh, if I, you know, was saving that pity for the next one. And it turns out it's a different hero. Ah, uh, see, here's the thing. I actually can't even do it with just gems. I would actually have to buy the next bundle tier in order to get that pity right now that's definitely unfortunate that is definitely unfortunate but i do think i will do it i expect the next wheel to be kanara but i don't know for sure and i definitely am more interested in kanara than any other hero right now so i'd rather get that pity on kanara even if it does carry over to the next wheel in the chance that it's not her that would be a bummer okay i'm gonna do it i'm doing it for the content okay so hopefully you guys will drop a thumbs up on the video i i really would would appreciate that but also it gives us a sneak peek as to what the 50 dollars tier is and this definitely falls off in value i mean this to me is very expensive this is this is literally half the amount of goblin market vouchers that you would expect if it continued to have the same amount of value as the five and ten dollar tier remember the five dollar bundle got you five vouchers the ten dollar bundle got you ten vouchers you would expect the fifty dollar bundle to give you 50 vouchers but it only gives you half so the value here is literally cut in half not worth it to me definitely worth it for the wells but let's keep the wheel spinning ladies and gentlemen let's do the next five spin boom 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 we got a canara and we got some ore we did i mean this honestly this is all stuff that i need i can't complain here but obviously we are looking mostly for canara than anything else let's do another five spin i want to get the full summon of canara before the pity and see if it resets before i have to go and just check the footage it looks like we're gonna get it we're gonna get a season one custom token here that's fine again all this stuff is useful we didn't get any of the legendary metals or any of the trading speed up so i can't complain about this even though i did want more obviously tokens would have been great let's do another five spin one two three four oh, man my luck really fell off a cliff after that 100 spin mark is it just me or is that the case that really certainly feels like the case so heed to my warning uh we're gonna do four more spins here let's go ahead and do boom 2800 gems and that should get us all the way to our next pity we have one no way let's go man i didn't even need those other three vouchers i didn't even know those other three vouchers i could have saved the gems okay so that's a good tip for you guys if you're getting close to your pity buy them individually so you can save your gems but that does in fact reset your pity so that answers the question if you get it even if you don't reach your pity if you get it it resets it so that's unfortunate again i wish they would have kept it that would have been insane value because in theory i would be getting guaranteed another 10 canara here within three vouchers but unfortunately that's not how it works we get one 
a little bit of ore we get boom a little bit of wood and our final token is a legendary metal so that is unfortunate but we did do 120 spins here so let's see how far we can take our canara now uh she has how many sculptures we got 94 canara tokens let's go ahead and upgrade her first skill to five so let's go ahead and boom there's level four boom there is level five so you see here skill damage 1400 to a single target and the target damage dealt reduction by 15 percent for five seconds that's huge now we're gonna go ahead and bring her up to a second star because i do actually feel like her second skill is better than her third skill so i do want to get that second skill up to five before i unlock the rest of them so let's go ahead and add uh two more skills to her so boom there is uh level two next we bring it up to level three so we were able able to add uh what four skills onto her in this video which is really nice uh and you know what i'm actually gonna go ahead and use the season one custom tokens uh because i'm gonna use them on kanara anyway so it really doesn't make much of a difference we're gonna use 36 of those uh tokens boom and boom we now have this up to level four and we don't have enough season one tokens to get this to level five so that is unfortunate i could use the universal legendary hero tokens i don't know if that's what i want to do just yet because these are very valuable these can be used on any legendary hero uh these are obviously very good but a little bit less valuable so yeah that's where we're gonna leave kanara for now she's at five four zero zero i think that's a pretty good place to start after just at the end of this will be like 150 spins i'll take it although that is definitely uh definitely expensive <laughs> but hey we get our three thousand three thousand gem reward for the week which is going to bring us up a level here in the uh, the in the rune level so i'll take that as a little bonus we have seven gold keys here let's just pop open these gold keys for you guys let's see if we can get more legendaries in this video so there's one uh there is two um any legendaries here three no we get uh what's here four we get nothing okay great five we get okay literally a bunch of wood literally the most amount of wood i can get okay cool uh six and okay we got all win which is fine uh but that's that's a bummer okay well that's gonna do it for this video guys if you enjoyed make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new here and click the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a call of dragons video comment down below what you think of the lucky spin event here in call of dragons do you like this event how do you feel it compares to the one in rise of kingdoms if you've played rise of kingdoms and let me know if you are spinning for kanara in the comment section below with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace